Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Muna Project. We here at the Muna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I was thinking about the uh, the wickedness of Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom. And um, there are towns that are uh, rough. There are towns that are sinful. But a town where you couldn't even find uh, ten righteous men, that's a little thats a little tough to understand. I mean, there's got to be some people, right? Well, it was uh, Harav Yaakov Moshe of Karlop, Charlop, um, who uh, claims that the evil that was um, perpetrated by the uh, inhabitants of Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, was motivated by a philosophy of evil. It, and it, this is way, it was this way that it was... Uh, this philosophy uh, of evil was, uh, was able to permeate the, um, the entire um, community, uh, to spread to the entire community to the point where you couldn't even find ten righteous people. Um, when evil becomes um, a doctrine, um, sinning becomes a matter of principle. You think yourself uh, into it. Um, it's difficult to overcome. Uh, the more one speaks out against uh, evil, the more the evildoer will uh, cling to his convictions, his philosophy uh, of wickedness and uh, his beliefs. There's no room for logic. And um, he, um, uh, he makes a comparison um, in the Gemara, uh, in the Mishnah rather, uh, between uh, a wicked uh, character by the name of uh, Tonusrufus and his discussions with Rabbi Akiva. This happened about 2,000 years ago. And the argument, the sophistry, the false logic, went kind of like this. Uh, he says to Rabbi Akiva, if your God loves the poor, why does he not support them? Rabbi Akiva replies, well, that's so that we can be saved f through them from the pun punishment of Gehenna, from the punishment of the hereafter. And um, they continue their discussion. And uh, Tanus Rufus uh, contended that someone who create that if someone, if God, if Hashem created the poor, then the poor person should remain that way. And in fact, someone who helps the poor, who gives tzedakah, who gives charity, is in fact countermanding the will of God. He's going against the will of God. He, and he's argue it's actually forbidden to give tzedakah. It's forbidden to give charity. You're going against the will of God. Because if God wanted them to be helped, he would not have made him poor and needy in the first place. He would have done well in Sodom. As we know... As we have learned in previous videos, as we know through uh, the Torah, he was mistaken. Um, tzedakah, the, the giving of charity, um, yeah, is for the benefit of the poor person. It's the, for the benefit of the recipient. But more importantly, it is for the benefit of the person who gives charity. It benefits the giver. It benefits the benefactor. Uh, uh, it enhances, it refines the benefactor's uh, sensitivity toward uh, another human being. And um, he's created a circumstances, a person's poverty, a person's need, a neediness, um, as a vehicle through which we can improve ourselves, we can better ourselves. This is what Rabbi Akiva meant when he said he's, he's, he's a, he saves us from Gehenna, he saves us from Gehenna. Through the vehicle of tzedakah, the beneficiary becomes a benefactor. And um, this is what saves us. In the Tanakh, in the book of Proverbs, uh, chapter 10, the first and second verse, it says, it's usually translated, in tzedakah, righteousness, rescues us from death, saves us from death. Sadaka, of course, not only means um, righteousness, it also means charity. Charity 
saves us from death. This is also another thing Rabbi Kiva was referring to. Saves us from death. It saves us. Um, by giving charity, by um, giving money, uh, by giving uh, things to charitable causes, you are saving a life. You're saving a life. I remember uh, listening to a uh, shir, a, a, a talk uh, given by uh, Rav Dror Moshe Kazuto, and he said the same thing. Charity saves from death. And it doesn't matter how much. If you give $100, if you give $10, if you, if you give a nickel, if you give a, a dime, a quarter, you could save a life. A squirrel, you know, a chipmunk, a porcupine, it saves. And um, let's look at it that way. Uh, if, if you want to take an absolutely mercenary approach to it, saying, ah, sure, I'm giving to someone, but I'm also getting something out of it too. I'm, uh, I'm doing it for the person, and I also uh, will, best for Hashem, with God's help, reap the benefits in times to come. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them um, uh, helpful. I hope you're finding them inspiring. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.